tearjerker. Um, but I do have an update, and this does come directly from the family. Um, Chris, and, and I'm just going to sort of read it verbatim. Chris is sad beyond belief. This is, a, this is a destroyed and a devastated person. He does know about the social media explosion about this case. He does know about the groups. He does know about the extent of the discussion. And he does appreciate the support he gets from the corners of people that do support him. He reads uh, a Bible daily. He has embraced the Christian faith. I mean, he has really like immersed and in, in himself into it. Um, he, you know, he's encouraging his family to also read the Bible and to embrace their Christian faith. And for me, this sort of touched home because I'm I'm an agnostic. I abandoned the Christian faith oh about 20 years ago, and never look back. And my mother, God bless her, I have most loving mother on earth my mother is sending me she sends me bible verses every day and sometimes i think she does it <laughs> liz is laughing but i think she does it sometimes to get under my skin but i know that she really loves me and she she wants me to come back to the faith and she sends me these bible messages and i read them like i a good daughter would and i i get the feeling that this is kind of where chris is at like he's really touched base with his christian faith and he's and he and it's given him a source of healing of what's happened and he's wanting to sort of share it and extend that with his family and i that sort of touched base with me i thought wow that's really interesting that he's that he's doing that um he requested pictures of bella and cece and he also requested pictures of the gravesite. and one final thing that is really really broke my heart chris reads to the girls every night in his cell oh God. he reads to them i don't know what he reads i i really don't know um i don't know if he reads the bible or if he has books that he read to them because i you know everybody will remember there's the one real famous video of him on the floor with with Bella reading to her and she's got her legs swinging back and forth and it's just so adorable um he used to love to read to them that was one of his favorite things to do and he continues to do that um in his cell and that just sort of oh god it got me right in the feels yeah. honestly it's it's, it's heartbreaking it, you know it is it's hard it is heartbreaking, and I don't care where you come down on either side of this. Yeah, I that's, think that hit home. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. It's it's heartbreaking, and these were his daughters. And regardless of whether you, you know, I've always said this to people: there's no way that you can take this case and make him this monster and this villain and make her the saint. It's just not. You're not, that's not going to fly. I think everybody with a modicum of, in, of intelligence has sort of set that aside. And they see now that this case has a lot of gray areas and it's a lot more complicated than that. And you have two very complicated people. And, you know, there's so many dynamics here that explain why this case has taken on a life of its own.